Put it on my tab, Bonnie. You got it. <laughs> got her. For 10, we were gonna do as the first episode, when that was like maybe three or four rewrites to figure out. And then once we figured out that sort of noir tone, then it like kind of started coming together. No! <gasps> Holy shit! You know, like it's almost the first time that we see Abby and Alana have any real tension because we love just having two characters that are unconditional friends that are women. But this was the first time that we allowed them to have that tension. What well, was the forgetting something really important about the relationship? Great, thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Okay, Great. are you mad? <sighs> not mad, just informed. Like for Alana in the episode, it's hard for her not to take it personal, but it's like, it's all there. Like you don't really need this anniversary to say what good friends we are. Yeah. You're my everything. And I want to tell you something before we die. Okay. This morning, I was the horse. What? Were you going to talk about Leanne? <laughs> okay, there is this Easter egg of a joke that is like one of my favorite jokes. In 10, when we walk in, this is like the dumbest thing. In 10, when we walk into this karaoke bar to follow this guy, there's a man singing a song that's called Leanne. It is a song that we made up and our music supervisor, Mad Effects, produced. One more time. I am Leanne. We're all Leanne. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and it plays throughout the entire season. On the radio, in cabs, it plays throughout the entire in season. In mushrooms, when Abby's like changing the music, it, I'm like nervous. <laughs> It goes, Lee. Well, it's just like a, what's the the pop song? And it's playing everywhere. I am Lee. We are Lee. We are 